in this video, I will show you how to install the Digo toolbar for Firefox. This procedure will also work for Internet Explorer if you happen to be using that browser. So we'll come back to the installing the Digo toolbar wiki page and there's a link provided in that page uh, to go directly to the toolbar download for Firefox. We're going to travel through this link though because there are other options if you're not using Firefox. So we'll check out the other options real quick. Most importantly, this Digolet should work on most, if not all, browsers, including Firefox and Internet Explorer. But it's not quite as feature-rich as the two Digo toolbar, so we're going to prefer that. And if you're using Chrome, there's an option here for you as well. So let's just go with the Digo toolbar, and it puts us on the Install page. So we can just click that, and we'll say Allow and another warning, install. And now Firefox is prompting us to restart so that the, uh, the toolbar will show. I've already installed it, so it's showing on mine. So what you'll wind up with is a toolbar that looks like this, fairly empty toolbar with just a, a Digo sign in. So we'll click that sign in. And down at the bottom of this page, there is a link to create a new Digo account. So we'll click that. You will if you don't have an account already. Of course, you wouldn't if you were looking at this video. So we'll create a username, but first name, last name, email address, of course, and generate some sort of password. Then you'll have to deal with this. Hopefully that won't be a problem. And then ultimately, you'll have an account created and you'll be signed in. So I'll just sign in. And what you'll wind up, you know, you, the, the page you'll land on will be called My Library, which is synonymous with My Bookmarks. So that's it for the installation. As we move forward through videos, we'll be investigating some of the features that are up here, most importantly the bookmark and the highlight features.